Hey YouTube, it's Carla, our Changing 56, and today is Valentine's Day, February the 14th, 2017. So I'm going to do like a quick update first, and then I'm going to show you some um, chocolate-covered bacon and chocolate-covered strawberries. We'll see how that works. Um, yesterday I weighed, and I weighed 135.5. Four. That's almost 10 pounds. Um, I think I weighed 140.4 um, when I started in January. So I'm very pleased with the 10 pounds. Um, it's beginning to come off actually quicker now than it did in the beginning. I think it's a, I'm a little more adjusted to keto and and <clears throat> and what I'm doing. So, and I can tell a difference in my clothes and my uh, pants especially, and probably and I have plenty of the smaller size. So I'm probably going to go back down to a, a size smaller in in my pants. So that's good. You know, Valentine's is not one of my favorite days, but it's about love, whatever kind of love it is. So, I um, found a recipe for chocolate-covered bacon, and it's the bacon itself has already been cooked, and it's in the freezer. That's what it said to do with it. But I'm going to do the strawberries first. I'm doing it in a dark chocolate. It's 60% cacao which could be, you know, should be a little higher, but I have a friend that, want, that wanted chocolate-covered strawberries, and she wanted a dark chocolate, and she didn't want it, like, really intense. <clears throat> so I kind of compromised for the both of us, and we've got 60%. Um, I'm going to do the strawberries first because I decided she might not like the taste of bacon. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, do the strawberries first. Okay, so the way I do... Um, my chocolate, a lot of people do it differently. Um, I put it in the microwave and do it for about a minute. And then I, I look at it and I stir it uh, and we'll go from there. So um, here is the, the chocolate. It's kind of in a mason jar and it was Ghirardelli 60% um, cacao. And I just broke it up in pieces and put it in the jar. Okay, so I'm going to sit you down right here. Everything's kind of right here. The microwave is over my head. Kind of. Alright, so I'm going to put that in. I thought I had everything ready. I need a spoon. Let's get a spoon and see how that goes. So, hope you all will have a great day. Think up some things that you can have on whatever kind of diet you're on or way of eating. Um, I thought these would be great for my treat today. I love bacon. I love strawberries. And I love the um, dark chocolate. So <clears throat> that's the way we're going. I'm kind of looking at my chocolate in the microwave. I don't definitely don't want it to burn. <clears throat> and I know a lot of people say do a double boiler, but this is just so much easier. Let me try it. Okay, it hasn't been quite a minute. It's not quite ready yet. Okay, we'll go a little bit longer. Okay, you know, talk amongst yourselves. What am I supposed to do? Um, I posted a picture on Facebook this morning of me five years ago with flowers. I actually got flowers the only time I've ever gotten flowers besides from my husband. So, anyway, both are long over. But, anyway, that was five years ago before surgery and then post-surgery. Okay, I think it's ready. I really need more chocolate, but we'll see how this goes. And I just use chocolate. That's it. Some people do other stuff. Some people, you know. But I just do chocolate. Ouch. The jar is hot. This is okay. <laughs> okay. Hot jar. And I just let it drip a little bit. Then I place it on parchment paper. 
and I don't dip all the way to the top. I usually kind of try to hold the, um, I got chocolate on my fingers, the little leaves. Another one. And my nose is running. The weather has been crazy in Alabama. Cold and hot. Not really cold. A lot more of not really hot, but spring-like weather. I don't know what's going to happen. The last few times we've had major ice storms have been like in March and April. So I'm kind of thinking that's what's going to happen this year. Okay. Okie dokie. Okay, I think these will be for Judy. I'm doing four for her and four for me. So I'll do these and then I'll do mine later, but I'll do the bacon for you. Okay, let me get the bacon out of the freezer. Be right back. Okay, so I just um, fried it. Uh, they suggested you bake it, but it, it's easier for me to fry it. And then I broke it into, well, actually I fried it in. I cut it in half before I fried it. And I think this might be amazing. What do y'all think? So, put it on the parchment paper as well. Okay, so you get the idea. I'm going to show you maybe what everything looks like. Strawberries and the bacon and the dipped strawberries. I'm going to do for lunch. Well, yeah, for lunch yesterday, um, I work on different pla at different places on Monday and Tuesday. Um, <clears throat> yesterday, I did a. Um, garlic shrimp alfredo okay well i could have had the shrimp and i could have had the alfredo sauce but not the spaghetti so i made my own version they had shrimp i had chicken and i cooked a spaghetti squash for my um pasta substitute and it was really good um i did them some chocolate covered strawberries i also made a strawberry sand up uh, sandwich salad and i'm trying to oh and i did heart shaped little cherry pies so that's what i did yesterday today i'm actually cooking them supper and i won't be here when they eat but i'm doing a pot roast because that was their request then i'm going to do them a lot of chocolate covered strawberries um milk chocolate covered strawberries but i thought i would do mine first okay so that's my video um, i hope y'all have a great valentine's day and I will see you later. Bye.